Hey what's up guys myself Swapni Srivastava and welcome back to your YouTube channel So guys today in this video I show you how can you run the Parrot OS on your Android phone So Parrot OS is one of the most popularly and widely used hacking OS right now and it is growing so much faster that it is started competing with Kali Linux and in some aspect it's better than Kali Linux for example in the appearance more attractive than Kali Linux and for the hardware resources it uses very less hardware resource so it can be run very easily on any low end pc but this is not true for the kali linux you need a very good pc to use the kali linux perfectly so this is a very good advantage of the parrot os that it is very easy to use it on any low end pc so parrot os is also a debian based gnu linux distribution and it is developed by the frozen box team and it was released on the 10th april of 2013 so parrot security intend to provide a lightweight environment that is widely compatible it offers many tools designed for web and computer system analysis including a lab dedicated to the forensic digital use with legally distributed tools and the ability to work with the cryptography which offering a wide range of possibilities and additionally it allows user to browse and work anonymously online So as I told you earlier that it uses a less of hardware resource so it is very less laggy and buggy and it is also very suitable for the 32 bit operating system and 64 bit operating system Okay guys so let's start video and see how we can do this So first of all you guys you need to download and install the Limbo PC simulator so just go to the play store and search there for the Limbo PC simulator so this is the app that you need to download and after that you need to download the Parrot OS file So just go to the description and you'll find a link to download its file and this is the file let me show you you can see so this is the file that you need to download its size is 1.73 GB so just download this file and pass it it in your internal or external storage okay or you can directly go to the browser and search there for the www.babison.tech So you will also find a text tutorial of this video and all the required download links. So you can also go to the my website which is www.pabison.tech. Okay guys. So after downloading all this stuff, just go to the Limbo PC simulator. Here it is. And click on this none and click on the new. And here you have to give a machine name. So I will type here. Correct. Oh yes. and just give any name and after that just click on the create now click on this vnc and select the stl and just slide down and just in the arch director select x86 in the machine type select pc in the cpu model select default in the cpu cores just select the maximum core you can give so i will select 4 in the ram memory just select the maximum ram you can give so for me it is 1016 mb so i will select it so if you guys facing any problem like whenever you click on the play button your limbo app crashes so you just need to reduce the amount of ram you given so if you will face any problem just reduce the amount of ram you given it will work okay now just go down In the hard disk section, in the storage section, you don't need to do anything. Just go to the removable storage section, and here you have to select the CD-ROM, and here is to click on this none and click on the open, and just go to the location where you put it the ISO file. So here you can see this is the file. So just make sure that you already downloaded this file and select it. Now just scroll down. So now just go down, and here you have to select the boot from device option. and here you have to select the cd rom and here and here you make sure that you already check it the high priority option and click on the okay and now just go up and just check that whether all the setting is correct or not even if you want to use any extra file any uh, external file in your pc in your virtual pc you simply need to click on this share folder option and click on the okay so whatever the file you need to use in your virtual machine just copy that file into your limbo storage shared folder and whenever you check it up it will already available in your virtual machine so i'm not going to use any shared file so i will just uncheck it so now everything is perfectly seated and now guys you need to click on the play button so here you can see it is started the booting process
So here I have to guys use the keyboard just click so just simply click on the back button and click on this keyboard option and it will open your keyboard so just firstly make sure that you already installed this hackers keyboard in your smartphone so that you will be able to use the all the keyboards keys like for example an arrow keys uh, up and down arrow keys left and right arrow keys or the CTRL button or the escape button or the alt button so just download and install the hackers keyboard in your smartphone so it will help you a lot to use this uh, virtual machine so now just open your keyboard and just select the second option which is the boot in the live shape mode you can see so this is the second option so just select it and click on the enter so it will start the booting process it will take some time to boot for me it taken almost 20 minutes So here you can see guys it's booting up so it will take some time to boot up so for my smartphone it's taken almost 20 minutes and for your it may be possible it take less time or it may take higher time it's just depend on your smartphone specification for my smartphone it having the 2.3 giga of intel quad core processor and this smartphone is of 2015 and if you have the latest smartphone with the latest processor it may be possible it run faster in your smartphone okay guys so you have to just wait here and after that it will boot up fully and guys just don't worry about the booting time because this process is only for the first time so when you boot it up for the first time so you just simply need to click on the pause button so just don't shut down the virtual machine just click on the pause virtual machine so what will happen that whenever you will open it again so it will start from the last paused position so it will not ask you to boot up again okay so this means that this process is only for the first time after that you will not need to wait for 20 or 30 minutes whatever the time it take for your smartphone so this process is only for the first time so you can see guys it's booting up it's just loading all those required files so let me back when this process will complete So here you can see guys the palette OS is now booted up and this is the login screen and now you can see there is a pointer and I can use it just by touching on my screen. So wherever I take the my hands it's working very smoothly. Now you just click on this password and now you have to click on the back button. 
and click on the keyboard option and now you have to type the password so the password is live l i v e and hit enter so as i am running this parrot os in the safe mode so that's why i that's why i'm typing the password live so if you boot the parrot os normally so you have to type the password to t o o r okay guys so you can see it's opening up the desktop so it will take some time so just wait here So guys, just close all the windows here. So right now you can see it is fully booted up, and now it will run very smoothly. Here you can see. So it is running very smoothly. So it takes some time to boot up, but after the boot up, it's run very fine. And you will find in the upper pane there, in the left side, you will find the application section, and when you click on it. And you will find all the preloaded stuff. You find in the accessories, uh, all the important things. So the terminal, root terminal, you can directly use it from here. And on surf, so I don't wanna go much in it, but Parrot has an on surf pre-installed and configured. So if you are doing something nasty and wanna be under the hood, you can do it in just a click. So this is coming pre-installed. And in the graphics, you will find some pre installed tools like this. And in the internet, you will find the pre installed browser. So, I will also show the internet in it. So, first, let me show all the tools. In the office, you will find the dictionary. In the other, you will find the crypt Twitter and all those important tools. And when you go to the parrot, they will find all those useful hacking tools. For example, you can see it comes with pre installed aircrack ng. Uh, with the Hydra tool, with the John the Reaper tool, with the Metasolid framework, with the Nmap, and you can see it have a full category of the tools. You can just go and see all the tools, and if you know how to use it properly, you will able to use this the whole virtual machine. So here you can see there are other tools like in a validity analysis, you will find some tools pre-installed, and in the password attacks, you will find all those important tools, and in the experimentation, I in the exploitation tools, I already told you that uh, there is pre installed like beef XSS framework, find the meta slide framework. So you can just simply create a payload from here and send it to your phone. Okay, guys, so this is not going to be useless because in my previous video, I seen that people have commented that this video is useless, there is not any practical use of it. So as this is running very smooth and now it has an internet connection enable in it, so it means that you can use it. So because of the YouTube policy, I'm not going to give a tutorial of it because YouTube is very strictly right now on the hacking or cracking stuff. So I'm not going to make any video of it. And now you can see in the programming, you find uh, some pre-installed tools. And in the sounds and video, you will find a, a VLC media player, record my desktop for recording your screen. And in the system tools, you find some uh, important system tools uh, like this. So you can just check everything. Okay guys, so I'm not going to uh, show everything because it takes the video long. I'm just going to open a browser and show you guys that it has the internet connection enabled in it. So I will open the Wireshark. So you can see guys, it's opened the Wireshark. It is a network protocol analyzer. So now I will open the browser to show you the internet connection is working or not. So let me go to the applications and from here I will go to the internet and I will go to the ice visual.
so let me just type here www.google.com and you can see guys the internet is working in it okay so now you can do anything that you want you have the internet connection enable in it and just you open the root terminal and just download and install any package that you want so this is going to so much useful if you know the way how to use it so you can do the coding in it you can make any program you can just do the hacking stuff or just learn all the linux things that you want directly from your smartphone and one more thing guys that i already told you that you can just pause the virtual machine and whenever you need you just simply need to click on the play button it will start from the last position of the virtual machine when you paused it so simply need to click on these three dots and click on the pause virtual machine and it will show so and it will show something like this and click on the pause okay so i'm not going to do this again so you just need to need to click on these three dots and click on the virtual machine click on the pause virtual machine okay so so after that it will pause the virtual machine and it will go back to the your android phone home screen so whenever you need to use it or simply click on the limbo pc meter and from there just select your virtual machine and when you click on the play button it will directly open it into the last position you paused it so that's all guys for this video i hope you like it so if you are new to our channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you guys directly get notified so guys thanks for watching this video have a good day good luck and bye take care